opening a coconut, I'll be showing how to poke properly and just how to open a coconut. We're also going to be eating artichokes. I've never tried these ones personally myself before. So yeah, we're going to try that. We're going to be... And I'll be showing you how to cut open a papaya and how to eat it. Okay, guys, I'm ready with everything and so for this you will need a screwdriver or anything else that is hard, sharp, and that you can hit on the top and it won't break. Like that. So and you need also a cup to drain all the coconut water from the coconut. Yeah. And I'll be showing you also how to take out all the the actual outs inside of the coconut because the coconut has the coconut water and on the outside it's like the white meat of the coconut and you have to take that out also because that's that's also good you can do like coconut cookies or something I don't know you can make a lot of th things with it so first how to open it up and drain it so you have to put it at a position that you're not scared that it's not gonna um, roll around while you're doing this okay Okay, there I found it. You put it, you see the coconut has three holes. Not holes, but these black dots on the top. Put it into one of them. Just smash it a bit. Put it in. I hold it, and then I... I smash on top until it comes completely through, and you can feel that it's inside right now. It's not inside yet. Okay. Okay, it's inside, it broke accidentally, but that's fine, that's not going to do anything, there, okay, and we have to make a second hole, because if we don't, then when the water, when the coconut water is going to be coming out, how is it going to be coming out if it, the air is not coming in, to open the other hole, okay, there, I'll skip through the video so you guys don't have to get bored of me hitting it. Okay, guys, see? So, all this thing, I pried it open a bit more. It's actually very hard, so probably not gonna do the whole coconut. But you see, that's how it looks. Shell, and you. Like I said, this coconut's very ripe. Now, this is gonna be sweet. If it's not that ripe, it's not gonna be sweet. It's still gonna be good, but I recommend ripening your coconut first. Just set it on any shelf or dry place, and it'll just ripen, and turn sweet. Yeah, this part's good. Okay, I need to take that end of other end. Sometimes it just pops out. Just pops out. Not this time. Okay. Some of it out. Usually it doesn't pop out, but that's good. Okay, popped another piece inside. I don't want them going inside, but I have to. See, it's just a lot of it inside. So yeah, I'll I'll keep trying opening this um very hard shell. Guys, after a long time of trying, I finally finished breaking it in half. And at least my hands are completely red and hurting, but I did it. Now it's the easy part. When you break it in half, it's just very easy. Just smash it. Ready. Okay. okay. See, it just breaks instantly. Because you're hitting from the top. Okay. There. This is way harder than it looks. Okay. Trying to pry this open. Okay, I need my screwdriver. Oh, yay! There it is. Complete. One done. Oh, the rest. Okay. This one's gonna be a bit harder. I need to break off these parts first. Okay. Oh, it came out. Wow, that was easy. Okay. Yep, I'm done. So, guys, I'll check up with you when I'm done cleaning all this. And guys, as you see, this is this is what we have now. Complete. This is the whole coconut. This is all you can eat. It's it's good. It's like the only thing bad about it is it's a bit crusty. 
Uh, I don't really like it. But the white thing is very good. But if you were using a non-ripe coconut, there would be like maybe up to here of of water. But I'm using a a ripe coconut. That's what there's very less, but it's very sweet. Okay, I'll check up with you guys when I'm done cleaning this mess. So with the papaya, it's way much, way much easier with the artichoke than with the artichoke. <laughs> okay, papaya, so um, if you guys haven't already known, in the papaya there's this thing inside. It has like these little, you'll find them in maybe iced tea or something. They look exactly the same, honestly. See? Those things, those are just its seeds. It looks like, I don't know, some kind of eggs. It's KVR, oh my god, okay. Okay guys, I took everything out. All these, there. Put that there, no, there, no, no, there, there, okay. okay. Take this, and this is how you cut the papaya. I, I um, usually maybe, okay, the skin does not peel in this one. You might peel the skin if you want, but this is how I cut papaya. I cut the middle. The middle falls into two pieces. Then I flip it like this and go like cut, cut, cut bite-sized pieces. Okay, hold it at the tip. Doesn't work. Okay, like that. Ah, oh, get off. Like this. Yeah. That's how you cut up a papaya. That's how I cut a papaya. You can do it a different way. How you want. Depends on how you like it. I like cutting it like this. But that's basically how you eat a papaya. And you all just cut up this piece and yeah. Well, now you guys saw how to peel a coconut. Or, I don't know. Just clean a coconut. <laughs> okay, yeah. And you guys saw how to cut up papaya. I don't rec I don't recommend eating the papaya with those seeds. They don't they don't taste good. I'm just gonna try one just for the just for the memes. Okay, I can. Okay, they taste like oil. slash barfing li liquid okay um yeah that's the end of today's video if you enjoyed like and subscribe hit that notification button yeah and always i'll meet you in the next video bye Okay guys, I forgot to tell you this, but I'm gonna also be trying a passion fruit. I've been told that, and watched on Google and YouTube that to eat a passion fruit, you cut it in half, and then you, yeah. Wow, this one is hard. Yeah, you cut it in half. After cutting it in half, you get all these seeds and stuff like that. Um. They told me that if you take a spoon and take these out, then I'll try it. Mmm, that's yummy. Okay, you just scoop these out and eat these. They're actually very good. I just tried them. They are good. Passion fruit is good. That's confirmed. Mmm. That tastes very good. Okay. That's basically how you eat a passion fruit. Yeah. It's very good. But don't eat the outside because it's hard and it's gonna be kind of tart. Either bitter or tart. That's what they told me. But this is my first time trying passion fruit and I think it's very good. I definitely give it a 5 out of 5. 
Okay, I'm gonna just save this for my mom to try because my mom hasn't tried passion fruit also, so yeah. That was very good. <laughs>